This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Cadence Kaler. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Hey guys, today is incredibly hot and I am having trouble breathing. Welcome back to Fish for Thought. You're watching another episode of Fish Tank Review. You. Ooh, okay, I don't make sure to smash that like button to encourage me for filming even on a hot day like this Why is it so hot? I'm gonna need to take like five showers today. Follow me on Instagram for hot pictures. Not that kind of hot <laughs> This account is called beta man When I get hot and when I get, you know, when I sweat, I get a little more pissed off easier than usual. <laughs> I get quite pissy. Beta man 200, more like beta man zero. Get beta man. No clue how to keep beta man. Just a few account name ideas for this guy to consider. The betas are beautiful. I get that maybe he's just putting all of the beta in there just for the show. But again, like I always say, don't do that because that encourages other people to do that. That tells people who aren't more aware in this hobby that that is okay and go ahead and mash all those betas together. Didn't I tell you guys the story where I was at a local fish store and then a customer came in and talked to the owner about how she wants to get another betta because her one betta is feeling lonely. And no matter what the owner said to this customer, this customer kept wanting to get the beta, it's crazy. I mean, if you have any critical thinking skills at all, even in that scenario, if the store owner is telling you not to buy something from their store, something is terribly wrong and you should listen to them. They are not trying to trick you by trying to make less money. They actually care about the well-being of the fish. Unlike this guy, not so beta man. Hey, I don't know, I'm just feeling random today. I wanna shout out a few channels right now. For any turtle stuff related, the turtle girl got your back. She's also raising chickens now, so also chicken girl. <laughs> she has that diamondback terrapin that is so nice. Check out her Instagram as well, a lot of good pictures. Ryo Watanabe, haven't watched him recently or much these days, but just came to mind. He does, if I remember correctly, he's either in Singapore or Japan. He does unique things such as go to the fish store and showcase that store and showcase all the awesome fish. And he's got a awesome, wholesome personality. Go check him out. Peck Tech, like I always say, super wholesome channel. He's got calm and he's got personable. Really good combination. If I'm not having dinner with my family, if Peck Tech posted that day and I haven't watched the video yet, I might put a peck tech video on. I think he's doing a terrarium build with his daughter. I don't know if he's still doing that when this video comes out, but yeah, I mean, that's 100% wholesome. JH Aquatics, really awesome channel, doing a lot of new stuff these days and a superb fish room with some of the most beautiful fish I have ever seen. Girl Talks Fish, make stuff for aquarium co-op now. So if you watch aquarium co-op, there is no reason you are not subscribed to Girl Talks Fish. Just high quality content and very informative. I don't think I've ever watched a video from them without taking something new away, without learning something new. So free content as well. That's ridiculous. You can literally go look it up right now and learn from that channel if you choose. Anyway, random shout outs over. Not sure why, but let's, let's continue. For free on a local FB page. This is why grow out tanks are a bad idea for the average aquarist I am O oh, in my opinion. In my opinion, your opinion is right, buddy. This is why I hate it when there are people trying to say that they're gonna upgrade in the future. No, you are never going to upgrade. That is just an excuse for yourself and for people around you for your image. And the first thing that comes to mind are the new Thrive products. I know I bought a Thrive product myself, but it wasn't a tank. I don't like their tanks because they're geared towards juvenile reptiles. And it's too expensive for just a, a juvenile reptile grow out tank. Like, at least make it a little bit more affordable. I'm sorry to be a hater on Thrive right now, but that's ex that's just what I think, okay? My, my opinions. Only maybe 1% of everyone who says, oh yeah, he's just in there uh, for now. When he gets bigger, I'll get him a new tank. Only 1% probably, my estimate, is 
actually going to walk the walk instead of just talk the talk and then have this happen. But the plant filters the water. <laughs> exactly. Exactly something that whoever owns this contraption would say. Wow, you're you're just a genius. You science, you got science in the bag, okay? You can be a biology teacher for master students. You're amazing. Can you tell that I'm a little extra pissy today because of the heat? I'm legit low-key kind of dying right now. But aren't we all? Kavir sent in this fish tank. It definitely looks big enough for Tetras. Maybe put in a few more Tetras. They love a good solid school. So you have the Neons and you have Rummy Nose. I'm not sure if you have any other uh, species of Tetras in here or other fish in here, but I would definitely increase the numbers. And you can even increase the numbers on just one of those two species and they'll feel a little more comfortable because tetras are all really peaceful and friendly towards each other and it helps to have more in numbers. Hygrophila growing pretty lush back there. It's gonna help fill in the back of your tank, hide all those appliances and block the backdrop. Hardscape is okay, albeit a little messy. That being said, it's a enjoyable scape. I'm rating it a 4.25 out of 5. Keep it up. This tank is sent in by Joe Flo. Joe Tank be poppin'. It's a big tank. It's definitely understocked. I don't even see a fish in here. There's a floating cup. I don't know what that is doing there. It doesn't belong there. Take it out. Maybe it's a fry grow out tank. Again, yeah, it's good. It's planted, uh, but the hardscape can use a bit of work. Right now, it just looks like just scattered rocks, and that could work fine, whatever. It's also way harder to scape a bigger tank because like properly because you need so much resource. You need to spend so much more money. Good amount of plants here, good variety of plants here. 4.3 out of 5, keep it up. Most people rejected his message. Better fish need at least five gallons to thrive, plus a heater and filter. <laughs> Shut up. They hated Jesus because he told them the truth. Galatians 4.16, that's not what Galatians 4.16 actually said, but it's okay, it's okay. I will let this slide, I will let it slide. It's not biblically sound though, so don't, you know what I'm saying. Found this bowl at Hobby Lobby and thought fish would love it. The cup he comes in holds more water. Yeah, that's true, I'm pretty sure volume wise that cup from the store where he was staying in has more water capacity than his main tank. I mean, this is the true epidemic, which is people who think, people who like something and pushing it on to others. Like, have you ever had someone who really like a certain food? Or I guess uh, for, for simpler reasons, really like a certain show. I do this all the time. I force my girlfriend to watch all these different shows that I want to watch. Like, I like it, but that doesn't mean everyone else likes it. You like the look of that bowl. It doesn't mean your fish is going to like it, okay? In fact, let me tell you straight up, your fish will not like it. And by like, I mean it, it's not going to be a easy life for your fish in that bowl. Ammonia spikes, water parameter swings of all kinds. A fish expert cannot keep the water stable in a bowl of that size. Okay, a fish expert. I'm going to go uh, go and take a wild guess here. You're not a fish expert. This fish tank is sent in by Marnix from Holland. Much love to Holland. Thanks for sending in the tank. Floaters up top, you got some nice little wood pieces. That wood piece looks like some kind of animal, like a dog or maybe a little lizard, maybe like a little Pokemon. Got some platies, platies, not platies. A school of neons. It's great. It's, I don't know if it's understocked, but it's not overstocked. You got a tiger lotus. It's gonna get huge, man. Hopefully this is fertilized. You got some swords there too, so pretty, and, and Valisneria, so pretty heavy root feeders. Hope your substrate is fertilized. 4.1 out of 5, keep it up. Oh, reliable. Fluval stratum. <laughs> yeah, when in doubt, fluval stratum it up. I mean, I would use ADA aqua soil or ADA Amazonia, but can't seem to find that sucker. This tank sent in by Ragu. For me, it's a pretty clean scape. I enjoy it. White substrate always makes scapes a little more enjoyable, albeit might not be the most natural thing. Got a betta with four neons, what looks to be four neons, there could be more uh, in the back there. Not really what I would recommend because it might be a tank that's a little too small for a bigger group of neons, which really neons need, I don't know, I suggest at least 10, but preferably like 15, 20 more. Because when we're keeping fish, we're trying to get them to act in the way that they do found in nature and that's usually when they're in a big group and a big enough setting. If you haven't seen the natural schooling behavior of neon tetras or cardinals, 
you're missing out, man. You should look it up on YouTube. I think there's a video of someone putting like 3,000 neons in one tank. Amazing stuff. Their natural schooling behavior is something a sight to behold. Four out of five, keep it up. This tank has two female bettas in it. The OP is trying to convince everyone that there's nothing wrong with it and she did her research. Sounds like she would say, hey, stop mansplaining to me. I did my research. Sounds like if she was being told off by a man that this is incorrect, she'd be like, hey, stop mansplaining to me. What I continue to not understand is how is there 2,960 people that actually would press the heart button for something that looks like that? This is uh, so widespread. It's like a wildfire that does nothing but burn things down. Who are those 2,000, almost 3,000 people that approve of this enough to heart it? Found this in a storage room at my dad's house. Back of the box says it's from the 80s. Wow. Rocks and plant included. It's just called beta tank. Keeping it simple. So yeah, here's the thing. Like people are saying, well, back then the tanks were way bigger and way better for fish. And now because of commercialization and because of people wanting smaller things and more uh, convenient ways to keep fish or keep a pet around the size of the betta fish tanks keep getting smaller and smaller at least in the west but look at this this is one of the smallest fish tanks for betta fish i've ever seen advertised this might be maybe a 0.25 gallon maybe a 0.1 gallon something ridiculous like that that is one of the smallest by far and it was in all the way back in the 80s so this is throwing me for a loop, let me tell you that. I mean, by this standards, we actually got bigger tanks now. Hey, thank you guys so much for staying until the end and watching everything I have to offer and talk about and rant about. I am so sweaty. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet and my, my hands, yeah, they're wet. That's disgusting. I'm gonna take a permanent shower. Call me Aquaman. <laughs>